Now let's take a look at a different technique called uh, cyclic voltammetry. Cyclic voltammetry or CV. It is um, measuring of the current where you change the WE working electrode potential. Of course, you change the potential with respect to reference electrode or RE. You typically ramp up and down the voltage linearly. Typically, you when you do this um, cycle, the voltage is changed linearly with time. They here we plot E for potential, T for time, and then you can see the potential ramp linearly up, linearly down, linearly up, linearly down in cycles. And then you would record the current through the working electrode and record the current and then you can plot the current versus potential to give the voltammogram, cyclic voltammogram, or simply CV curve. To give an example, let's use the simplest example, which is just an end resistor. It's just a resistor. You can measure current and you can also measure the voltage across it and then you can drive the current and control the voltage across the resistor and then if we have this linear uh, up and down linear up and down in potential naturally we would have this linear uh, up and down in current okay that's what we learned in high school physics linear voltage change with time linear current uh, change with time and also it's in phase which means they change at the same time same pace mm -hmm. then if you plot as we said current versus voltage the current through the working electrode is plotted versus the voltage or potential for the working electrode and then we would get just uh, for pure resistor ohmic uh, behavior uh, linear simple linear relationship between current and voltage okay and the application for these types of cyclic voltammetry or cv measurement is to study an electrochemical uh, electrode reaction or half cell reaction or study one of the active species an analyte in the electrochemical half cell reaction so that's the application to either study an electrode reaction or sometimes we call half cell reaction or just to study one species which we call analyte that is involved in that electrode reaction or half cell reaction and as we said the simplest example for this cyclic voltammetry would just be what we showed here a resistor a pure ohmic resistor you ramp up and down linearly the voltage you measure the current for resistor of course it will be similarly in phase uh, linearly up and down up and down and then when you plot current versus potential of course you get a simple straight line linear relationship between current and voltage that's the ohm's law that you have learned in high school okay